one part cesium. And listen, I'm sorry for yelling earlier. I, I, I couldn't ask for a better staff. I love you guys, and I love all your families. And the final ingredient? Wow! What the hell? What, what happened back there? Why don't you ask the smartest people in the universe, Jerry? Oh, yeah. You can't. They blew up. Granite! Uh. Granite! Sanchez is the first person that I want to talk about. He's the smartest being in every conceivable universe and is also wanted by the Galactic Federation. He self-actualizes because he turns himself in to the Galactic Federation so that his family can be safe and won't have to be outlaws for the rest of their life. It's so Rick Sanchez, the wanted criminal. Hold on. This is Special Agent Gribbles. You have a tip about Rick Sanchez? Yeah, he kidnapped me and my family and he left us on Dwarf Terrace 9. He said he was gonna go to the Plim Plom Tavern. And listen. Yes? I'm doing what's right for the galaxy by calling you, so... If we come back to Earth, can my family have a normal life? We only want Sanchez, sir. Your family will be fine. Nice. Thank you. I'm- Rick also could see the steam category of Mazo's hierarchy because he is the status of being the smartest being in every conceivable universe. And he also has the strength and power to collapse the Galactic Federation and the Citadel of Ricks, which are both government entities that he dislikes. Oh, well, it's a bad idea to have it designed that way then, isn't it? without a password freeze employee of the month ladies and gentlemen so what are you doing with level 9 access anyways destroying the uh, galactic government awesome oh. are you going to set all their nukes to target each other oh, or, or reprogram their military portals to disintegrate their entire space fleet good pitches kids i'm almost proud but watch closely as grandpa topples an empire by changing a one to a zero Mr. President, the Blimflark's value just dropped to nothing. What do you mean? I mean, our single centralized galactic currency just went from being worth one of itself to zero of itself. Oh, dear God, no. Calm down, everybody. people. Deploy the galactic militia and declare martial law. Yes, sir. Uh, what should I pay them with? Their payment is the honor they'll feel to serve their... Wait, who's paying me to yell at this guy? I can answer that. For money. Uh, I never ooh, thought I'd live to see this guy. Gentlemen, gentlemen. gentlemen. Jerry, what the hell is happening? The galactic government collapsed. Are you okay? That character that was crawling around is Jerry Smith, or Rick's son-in-law. Even though he was a little bit scared, he's relatively safe because of his connection with Rick. Their house has blast shields and even some safety measures, so I think he's pretty good in the safety category. Rick and Morty, you are under arrest and surrounded by an anti-portal shiver. Come out with your hands up. Well, happy Thanksgiving to me. Can't wait to see what a shimmer does to my prostate. Da Hoorah! <laughs> Told you to stand down. He just lost two soldiers over here. Good men. Jerry works for an advertising company, and he comes up with the slogan, Hungry for Apples. And that slogan actually wins an award for the best apple slogan. And so once he receives this award, Jerry self-actualizes 
because if he feels that his life is complete. Well, Apple Farmers of America, welcome to our ad agency. I'm Jerry Smith. All right, I'll just get to the pitch. Um, simple question, gentlemen. What are apples? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> what are apples? Apples are food. And when do we need food? When we're hungry. With that, I give you your new slogan. <sighs> well, say something. Do you like it? Yes. You do? Yes. yes. So, I sold it? <laughs> I sold the idea? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I just sold my first pitch! Slow down! You're looking good. My man! Um, look, I want to say that today was the best day of my life. But the truth is, it's, it's, it's more meaningful than that. My man! Yes, thank you, sir. I am finally complete. My man! My man! My man. My man. <laughs> What the hell? No. Morty Smith, or Rick's grandson, is in pursuit of love and belonging because he uses a death crystal or something that shows you how you're going to die to die with his crush, Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Morty, I love you. No, 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 no! I love you. Damn it! How am I gonna die with her if I can't even talk to her? Isn't dying with Jessica? What the hell? From the law. Yes, sir. Why are you letting me do this? I do as the crystal guides. Just like his father, Morty's a very nervous individual, and that's why he's working towards the esteem category on the hierarchy. Oh jeez, Rick, I, I don't know if I like this plan, you know? I mean, crowds, they, 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 they have a tendency to make me really nervous. Morty, relax. It's just- Rick, are you really a musician? Who's not a musician, Morty? Me! Yeah, not with that attitude. We're in the drop zone. I'm the jump master. My name's Jamie, with an EY. Go, go, go! But, but, but we don't have a song! All right, Morty, let's get, let's do it. Why don't you uh, find a button on one of those keyboards and lay down some kind of beat? Rick, I think we need to cut our losses when we get our family and portal out of here. Morty, good music comes from people who are relaxed. Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh man. Okay. All right. Um. Oh yeah. You gotta get swifty. You gotta get swifty in here. It's time to get swifty. 